Hey everybody, welcome back to The Nexus where we are always excited to spotlight our local businesses and share some updates about things that are going on at True North Technologies. Um, last week we had Derek Sassman here from Star City Skies. He's hilarious and we had a great little chat that you should check out if you didn't have a chance to tune in. Um, we had some great tap on it deals go out this week and it was I believe we had Lady Luck Lounge, Zeppelins, um, Brown Shoes, and Juice Stop. So there's some other great offers that are still available out there from Rock and Joe and Quick Mix, um, Nori Salon, and Spa. You can get a massage from her. Um, and we're also offering a really cool Mediterranean giveaway. You get a private yacht for you and seven of your friends in the Mediterranean with like a private chef. So it's a really cool um, giveaway that Tap On It's sponsoring to increase the number of people opted into the database. So if you're not opted in, now's the time. So go ahead and Exciting. check that out. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you win so that you <laughs> yeah, take gotta me. Go, gotta get into there right now, so. <laughs> Well, needless to say, I need to introduce our guest today, who is Kayla Stock Hello. with K Stock Design. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, That's I'm exciting. so glad that you could be here today. Um, you're one of my favorite people. You're one of my favorite people. Oh, <laughs> so that works out really well. <laughs> Fun. I like this. Yeah, Let's keep doing easy. this. <laughs> Anyways, she is an amazing designer and. I'm super happy to have you be here and tell us your story. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Um, so I am from Lincoln, born and raised, and went to the University of Nebraska for my um, Bachelor's of Design. I've always been kind of a like artistic person from the bat. Um, just kind of grew up drawing, and I would always draw like fashion figures, and my parents would kind of be like, well, you don't know if you want to be a fashion designer and I was like no fashion designer yes let's New York let's you know do that kind of thing you <laughs> I know, can totally see you doing just that. just totally being so excited about anything that had to do with art um, and so once I kind of got to that point where it's like well what do you want to do in life I was like um, well I want to be I want to be artistic I want to do something that's you know fun and creative and yeah. finding the design school at UNL was really a big thing for me and a big leap into my career now yeah. so since school I've been a designer for four years and but just recently in the last year opened up case stock design yeah go girl yeah. girl power it's been it's been really a great thing for me and so um, so to clarify case stock is an interior design company um, but it's just based on the concept of artwork and mm -hmm. creativity and design so yeah I think you do a great job of like bringing in like current trends and you have a great eye for like the things that also should go along with the aesthetic yeah. and like color is such like a big specialty of yours. Everyone should go to your website and check out some of your work for sure. Yeah. There's which is, what is your website? Um, so it's casestockdesign.com. Cool. Um, and basically it just show showcases a portfolio of my work and yeah. some of the different things that um, I do within interior design. Obviously, it's super visual. We can't really get an idea of your beautiful work without seeing it. So I hope people do go check it out. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people have been doing like tons of like home renovations lately. Mm -hmm. Everyone spent a lot more time at home in the last year, and they realized, oh, we were gonna redo the kitchen. Let's finally get to that, right? Yeah. Have you seen an uptick in remodeling? Yeah, and honestly. Um, so when I told people like. You know, I started my company about a year ago. They're like, so basically when the pandemic hit. And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, it was a great time for me to just like step back and think about, you know, we all had a little bit more time on our hands, but to step back and think about like what exactly I wanted for my future and to really curate that. But during that time, it was kind of, a, I don't want to say it was a good time, but it was a good time for people to design because everyone wanted, yeah. they were stuck in their homes. So they wanted to kind of update that space that they were living in. Yeah. And also a lot of like entrepreneurs who work, so I do commercial design as well, who were kind of gearing up to launch all of these um, commercial spaces. You know, it really, there yeah. was, it was kind of a good time for that yeah. um, scenario, so. I mean, it takes a big leap of faith to start your own business and go out on your own and you're, yeah. you're completely reliant on yourself. And so 
maybe give um, some of our viewers just like a little bit of advice on on that, like maybe how you were able to kind of take that step and yeah. and why they should do it. So I'm all about energy and manifestation and about the idea that kind of the way that you believe, like the things that you believe about yourself end up being your actual characteristics. So when I first um, kind of was starting to have this idea that I wanted to do my own thing, um, I was compiling like, kind of like almost saying like who, like who do I really wanna be and what are her characteristics? And then as I did that, I realized like, you know, I wanted to pave that own path and I wanted to do that thing, but you have to be really specific about what you're wanting and you have to be specific about who you are as a person. Um, and that takes some, that takes time. It wasn't always, e you know, it's not an easy thing to do either. No. Um, and it's not something that, um, I guess, just kind of comes, but I would always kind of project myself further than what I thought that I was and kind of like throw myself over that cliff and then like kind of run to meet up with what that needed yeah. to be. So like pushing yourself to continually just keep getting better, even though maybe you don't feel like you're quite there yet, or maybe you are there, but you just kind of need that push to be like, just, just do it. Just go. I love so. that. That's super inspiring. I think it's really good advice. Someone, it kind of makes me think of something someone else told me. They were like, well, what would the person in your five-year goal be doing? Right. Like, how would they be acting? Who would they be interacting with? What would they be saying? Who would they be scheduling meetings with? Mm -hmm. Well, do that today. Just yes. start acting like your five-year person today, and slowly but surely you can, yeah. you know, make bigger, bolder steps in that direction because if that's who you want to be, then you need to start, you know, putting into Doing practice that. yeah and it can be really honestly really overwhelming and maybe sometimes it's like okay like doesn't need to all happen at once like no. you can try to do that but I think that gets a little bit um like can really wear you out easily yeah so just taking those like little stuff like um I like to say like lay a brick at a time so it's like you're building that wall you're that wall is going to get built just don't think that it needs to get yeah just stacked up today like that's a great time. quote I love that yeah I'm gonna try to remember that one. One brick at a time. Yeah, I always said like one day, one step at yeah. a time. Like, what are you gonna do today? And then tell me one thing you're gonna do tomorrow. Right. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be all at one time. You're right. Yeah. And then so. a month later, you're like, oh wow, okay. So those are the things that are now more established in my life can continue yeah. more. So that's yeah. awesome. It's kind of how that happened. I love <laughs> it. It's just empowering. I think there's a lot of women out there other men too but yeah women especially just need role models of people that have gone before them they've made the big step they're like that's yeah. the hardest step is just saying i'm going to do it you know and then you just have to follow through with whatever the plan is so right. it's awesome yeah. thank you well tell us a little bit about like your maybe some of your favorite um styles or things you like incorporating in your designs yeah so I'm very um, modern, forward-thinking designer. So I like to bring kind of the concept. You know how that kind of thing happens where it's kind of like the coasts see it first and then it kind of makes yeah. its way into the mm -hmm. Midwest. And that's not always the case. But I really want, since you know we have access now to all things design, it's not as if we have to wait for those things to come here anymore. It's like, let's just move forward with that kind of design concept. So very modern, very, um, I like to say my designs are unique. And I y like to use things like, I do um, hand renderings and 3D mm -hmm. modeling so that my clients can kind of see, okay, so this is what things are really gonna look like. Because mm -hmm. I think that's a lot of people's, maybe um, something that holds them back from, you know, kind of like there's that room in your house that you're like, I'm, I'm gonna get around to that. Or yeah. like, you know, I really wanna do this eventually, but you just kind of can't maybe fully visualize something. And I think that's, one of the things that I provide for my clients that kind of sets me apart is being able to show them, you know, yeah. exactly what is this going to look like, and doing that through material boards and um, things like renderings can help people. I love following you on social media because I can s just see your projects come to life with your drawings. And yeah, I think that's so true about what you do, and I think that does set you apart because not everybody has that ability to like bring it to life. I mean, you can kind of put it on paper and it can be, it just can be super, I don't know, not warm. It's like cold. It's flat. Yeah. You can't really like floor connect floor, yeah. with it. But and I do people, connect with your drawings for sure. Because I think some people can like see a floor plan, but maybe those kind of like what that looks like cannot translate. So to help people translate that mm -hmm. and then also show them like the actual 
materials and the color and the pattern yeah. can kind of begin to start putting together a story a little bit better and make sense. So, Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, do people have, like, generally a lot of good ideas for you, or do they come to you with, like, wide open, I have no clue what to do, so you do it all? <laughs> yeah, that, that, de that depends. It can really be one or the other. But my slogan for my company is let's elevate your space together because it's, it's your space at the end of the day. Like it's your home, it's your you know, business, your restaurant, whatever it ends up being. Mm -hmm. And while I'm kind of here to help you along and say like let's guide and let's formulate this kind of design, it's like your style is the one that is mm -hmm. what matters. And I think some people might have a hard time sometimes defining that style. Uh -huh. So to get to that point, it's a lot of like, you know, let's look through the visuals, let's look through um, what you're looking for. And some clients are like, I have a Pinterest board and there's a thousand images and I'm like, amazing. Yeah. And then <laughs> some clients are like, I have no idea, but like, they're like, I kind of like modern and I'm like, amazing. Okay, yeah. we'll just, we're gonna figure that, you know, it's a process either way. Good. Um, so it's, you know, never a problem. And But I, I do like it when clients are have some kind of like, yes, let's move with this forward so that I can kind of like make sure that I'm yeah. grasping onto their concept. Right, kind of come up with like an initial, like I'm thinking about going down this route before I draw everything. Do right. you like this aesthetic? Yeah. yeah, so a lot of the times I'll do that through um, kind of like mood boards and just showing people like oh, cool. images of what that aesthetic looks like because I think mm -hmm. also sometimes people think, you know, I'm into rustic or industrial design and then once it's kind of like put together, it's like, oh, actually, you know, maybe I don't, you know, uh -huh. that's what that looks, you know, so you kind of just got to go back and forth. Yeah. And that's just the process of creativity. Well, that's good. It's not intimidating for the person that has no clue then, you oh, know, yeah. like yeah. you're welcome to take on the challenge. So yeah, that's definitely that's awesome. Yeah. Well, where do you see K-Stock design going? Are you like hoping to eventually have like a, a space for your design or are you thinking of hiring other people or? Yeah, so um, right now I'm a one man team and um, I want to- One woman. One woman, one woman team. One woman team. And <laughs> I, do, I do want to have um, some employees in the near future or some, you know, interns maybe from the university. Um, and I want to get a studio where it's more of a storefront, so I can have, like I said, I, my, my whole like background is with an art, so I do have a lot of artwork that I, that I create, and I wanna be able to have a studio that is that, but then it will also be able to come in and my clients can come to my studio. So that's oh kind of where that's that. going. Right now, I office out of Hughes Coworking, which is a great space um, down in the Haymarket mm -hmm. for people who just kind of want that low overhead and just um, be able to work with really cool individuals who are kind of like-minded in their um, entrepreneurship, so. That's cool, I didn't know you had a space at Fuse. Yeah, I love well, it there. I have, yeah, something at Fuse, some friends, and we all kind of have this back space, and what I love about, and shout out to my friends at Fuse, um, <laughs> What I love about that space is that when I get into work, it doesn't feel like I'm going into an, a kind of an office. It feels like I'm going into a space where it's like, hey, what do you, you know, what's going on today? They talk about, they're all about like investments and stuff like that. So they're always kind of tracking the market. And I'm off in the corner doing design. And then there's another person off in the corner doing graphic design. So there's just a lot of like fluidity in the space. Yeah. And I love working with like kind of an open environment like that. You like a lot of activity around you. Yes. Like you thrive on the I'm the type energy. of person. Yeah. It's like I want the music in the background. I want the like noise of the cars and the ambulances outside. Like I very much work in that kind of good environment. That's so funny. Like I pictured you like wanting it to be quiet. I, I don't know. know why. I just I could have like twenty. <laughs> like very serene. Things. You just seem very serene to me that you would want it to be quiet. Yeah. Like I honestly like I kind of crave that chaotic artistic studio where it's like there's just a, just everything's on the walls. Like every time you have a new idea, it's like a post-it note of an idea just everywhere. Kind yeah, of a little chaotic, but that's just kind of the way that I like to be. So, I have a visual. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So Kayla doing her thing. Yeah. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. ow. <laughs> Kayla started that. It's like my favorite thing that she does. So ow, ow, ow. you can be anywhere and hear that and know exactly where to find <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> it's, it's that little dog on TikTok. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, ow, so ow. that's where that comes from. Check it out on TikTok. Yeah. 
Um, what else? Is there anything else that you want to share with the Nexus viewers today or anything about K-Stock that we haven't covered? Yeah, I think um, recently I've been pairing up with a really cool um, company called Bridgewater and Braden, and um, we've been collaborating so that anytime I have somebody that wants to do a home design that we can do the full um, you know, project plans, everything for a building plan that you can give to a contractor yeah. and design custom homes. So that's been a really big thing, moving K-Stock forward into being able to, you know, have full design like abilities um, mm -hmm. with the help of Bridgewater. So shout out to Bridgewater. And yeah. that's been really great for me because I've always, I, I love the structure too. Like I love, um, you know, where's the light coming from in a home? Where's the focal point in a home? Not just like putting stuff yeah. into a space, but really creating what that whole thing feels like. So that's, that's been so really cool. Great. So from like initial idea of a, new custom home we yeah. you guys can collaborate together and do the architecture design and the interior design that's yeah that's awesome yeah, home building, full so service full service for sure oh, so that's, that's been cool. a great you know thing this year yeah Braden mclaughlin is the yeah. owner of bridgewater consulting and he's a great guy great architect and um so if you're looking to do a new custom home it's a great team yeah. to work with I that's so that. cool yeah. i'm glad you remembered to say that i don't know why i kind of forgot okay yeah nope. so well awesome um we are so glad that you were able to come in and chat with us today and tell us more about your company and yeah. inspire people that want to go out on their own and start their own business and Definitely. i'm really proud of you oh thank you yeah i <laughs> am nice. i'm very proud of you i remember the day that you were like i'm doing this <laughs> yeah and i was like i it was kind of like a question mark at the end i'm doing, doing this i'm kind of <laughs> Now it's like, well, yeah, we're here. So. You did it. <laughs> yeah. So that's awesome. I I'm really proud that. of you. Thank you. Anyways, thanks everybody for tuning in, and um, we'll see you next week on the Nexus. Bye.